Historians, good afternoon again, your favorite teacher of the entire world. If I would have been in Europe, I would be the, the best monarch over there, I guess. But again, enough with my praising myself. I love to talk about myself. But again, ladies and gentlemen, today we have a special treat. Uh, this individual comes from the distant land abroad. Many people say he's a lord. Many people say he's a monarch. Many people say he's related to King George III. Again, this individual, you might know him as Mr. T. You might know him as Mr. Towers. Mr. Uh, Know-it-all as well. Mr. NBA Ball. But again, this individual will be talking to you about the causes to the War of 1812. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the great Mr. Towers! Hey, are you going to let me teach or no? Yeah. Okay, move. Get out! Ah! Hey, boys and girls, uh, today I'm here. I was invited by the great Mr. Pineda to give you a lesson in regards to the War of 1812. So I'm going to give you the three causes that you should always know, look for during, uh, during your test and the answer, and the answers are um, below the question, okay? Or in the excerpt, if there's an excerpt, look for this uh, clues, okay? Number one, would be the impressment of, of uh, American soldiers by the British Navy. Okay, impressment has been going around since uh, Thomas Jefferson, but now it's becoming too too um, severe to, to the point that to the point that uh, the British were already uh, exaggerating the kidnapping and there were too many kidnaps. Okay, so the kidnapping of American soldiers would be one. The second one would be that the British were telling the Native Americans the nasty, the nasty Native Americans. Oh my God, that bell is annoying, but that's fine. The nasty Native Americans, okay, to attack, to attack um, United States cities or towns and villages, okay? And the reason why is because the British um, were telling the, 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 the Native Americans that if, if they would have gone to war, Okay, and if they would have helped them during the War of 1812, that uh, the, the Native Americans would get their land back. But of course, they never got it. They never got it with the French and Indian War. They never got it with the American Revolution. And they would never get it during uh, the War of 1812 either. So, uh, one more time to recap. Impressment, which means the kidnapping of American sailors. Two, the... Uh, British telling the Native Americans to attack the United States uh, villages. And three, finally, the last one would be that the United States wanted to invade Canada. They wanted to go there. They wanted, we wanted, the United States wanted to expand their horizons, they expand their territory. Remember this one thing. The United States was mostly agrarian. That means that the United States was farmland, was mostly farmers. Okay, so in order for our country to be successful economically, okay, we wanted to make sure that there was enough land for us to farm. And uh, as a father, for example, back then as a father, you want to you look uh, for the future of your kids. So you have your lot of land, but what about your children? They, also, they, uh, they were hoping to get more land as well. So the more land the United States had, the more, uh, the more was going to be available for those future generations. And, and that's why we always wanted to go westward, to go west towards the, towards the Appalachian Mountains at the beginning, and then to the Ohio River Valley, and then all the way to the Mississippi. And we finally got the Louisiana Purchase. We went all the way to the Rocky Mountains and all the way to Oregon because we wanted to expand the United States as much as we could so that we can have all that farmland. Not only westward, but in this case, in the War of 1812, we always wanted, we also wanted to go up north to where Canada is was, was at, okay, or it is right now, okay. So, so those are the three reasons: impressment of U.S. soldiers. That's mean, that means kidnapping, okay. Uh, we wanted uh, the the British were um, instigating the Native Americans to to go and raid uh, United States villages. And number three, that we wanted Canada. We wanted Canada as well. So those are the three. So look for those three, okay? I would say, in my opinion, that the one that is gonna probably come, uh, come up will be impressment.
Okay, the impressment of American soldiers. Look for that word. Impressment means kidnapping. They were kidnapping them and forcing them to serve in the British uh, Navy or the British Army in general. Okay, well, thank you so much, uh, uh, boys and girls, for inviting me. And uh, I hope you learned this quick lesson from uh, your teacher, Mr. Torres, from seventh grade. And uh, if you don't have me in seventh grade, that's fine. Don't worry about it, okay? Uh, you're gonna be a loser, but don't worry about it, okay? Uh, if if you did have me, you better remember all this stuff. And uh, Mr. Pineda, Mr. Chong, and myself, we want to, um, I want to tell you on behalf of both, uh, three of us that you're gonna do very good on uh, the upcoming benchmark and then later in the start test. So let's get it going, let's reach for those stars, and let's go ahead and get that and pass this test. Bye bye!